Australia may lose up to a third of its digital community broadcasting network if the federal government doesn't boost funding in the May federal budget, according to the Community Broadcasting Association of Australia. The government has pledged $2.2 million per annum for digital operating costs, but the Community Broadcasting Association says this will leave them with a $1.4 million shortfall. Um, the figures that we need, it's about $3.6 million a year, so it's a 40% uh, shortfall for what's required. And that's just to pay for um, the transmission side of things. It doesn't pay for the studios. As I said, I showed you around here, PBS. We're building new studios, moving things around. Also, all the content and um, people management too, with coming up with something on a new channel. So that's all under the station's um, operations. But if we don't get that $1.4 million, then we're going to have to you know, cut the cloth and to make it fit and that'll probably mean um, switching off cities to come within the budget. Melbourne's 3CR community radio manager Marion Prickett says stations in two capital cities could lose their digital transmission after less than three years on air. At the moment um, community radio stations are paying service fees to telecommunications companies to give us access to what are called multiplexes um, and so they're, they're, uh, it's not like you could turn off one radio station or two radio stations, you would have to turn off the whole multiplex and so in Melbourne there are nine community radio stations on the one multiplex um, and the situation that the sector is facing if the shortfall isn't met is that they'll need to turn off two of the multiplexes. So one in the major, one of the major capital cities, so Sydney or Melbourne, um, and one in another capital city, so say Adelaide or Brisbane. The federal government hasn't ruled out the possibility of more funding, but a letter from Senator Comroy's office said that community stations should concentrate on fundraising and sponsorship to meet broadcast costs. Ms Prickett says this is not a realistic option for small community broadcasters. The situation that we're in is that we're currently broadcasting in analogue as well as digital. So most stations in the country are simulcasting um, and at the moment we're maintaining our all of the costs of our analogue transmission. Um, it's completely unrealistic at this early stage of the development of the technology to expect that stations can maintain both forms of transmission. Until the May budget, community broadcasters and listeners can only hope their campaign isn't falling on deaf ears. So we're hoping for a positive outcome, but um, you know, it's pretty hard to sort of be certain about anything at this point. I'm Clemmie Weatherall, reporting for The Citizen.